Caroline. Today I want to take you through my beach ready abs workout. Let's start in plank position. Take your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes, and come into a nice long straight plank. So if you're getting ready for a beach vacation, this is the perfect workout to fit in before you put your swimsuit on and hit the beach for an amazing day. So all I'd like you to do is take one hand and touch the opposite knee. Good, put it down and switch. So you touch and switch. So you're going to alternate here, trying to keep the hips as level as possible. And if you feel like amping it up a notch, you just pick up the cadence, but keep the quality. Good, so nice and strong, bringing that hand to your opposite knee. Let's keep moving like this for another 30 seconds. Breathing. You can always mix it up and go a little slower if you need. Just make sure that the form doesn't suffer. Quality is always the most important thing. Keep going for me. Let's do only a few more. Hold center plank. Good, and then bring it through to a seated position. Take your hands behind you with your knees together. Lean back and roll the shoulders back and down. Lift the legs up, and then you're just gonna scooch onto one butt cheek. Pull the knees in towards the shoulders, and then extend legs and shoulders up. Good, try that again. Knees in, and out. Let's do 20 of these, so three, four. Remember, you're on one butt cheek. Not both. <laughs> Breathing. You're halfway, 10 more. Make sure that your upper body and your lower body are going out and in together. Just five more from here. Smiling is very advanced. Watch out, last one. Good, and then come into center, shake out the legs, take the arms forward and lean back. Scoop the belly in and extend the arms out. Good, make sure your shoulders are dropped. Take your arms above your head and hold. Squeeze everything. And then lean back a little bit further. Good, you will be feeling ready to hit the beach after this video. Lean back a little bit further. Pull the belly button in towards the spine. Relax your face. Again, smiling, very advanced. Only go there if you're ready. <laughs> and come up. Take your hands behind you, bend the knees, knees together. Come on over to the other butt cheek and lift the legs. From here again, knees in and extend. In and up. So we're doing 20 on the other side. You wanna try and keep your feet and your knees together. Awesome, you're halfway, just 10. And nine, breathing. Try to let your shoulders drop. Four more, keep the form. Good, two more. Last one. Bring it back to center, shake out the legs again, arms forward, lean back. And then again, scoop the lower belly in, tighten the ribs in, drop the shoulders. Good, take one arm up and the other arm up. Lean back a little bit further and squeeze everything in. Awesome, just hang out. Try to lean back even more if you can. Beautiful. This is just where you kind of chill, <laughs> chill. Good, and then come on up. Lay down on your back. So you take it down to the back side, hands underneath the hips. The legs are going to come in the air. You're going to corkscrew the thighs up in the air, back down, take a leg lift, and then return to center. So one more time, nice and slow. Corkscrew, center, straight down, and up. Let's pick up the speed. So corkscrew, and down. And that corkscrew really targets the obliques, And done mindfully, this can be an extremely powerful exercise. Whew. 
Nice, strong corkscrew. Let's try two more. Last one. Take the legs halfway down hold. Lift the shoulders, look through the legs. Take the hands behind the head. From here, all you're going to do is little kicks. Pull the belly in, breathe a lot. Take a nice deep breath. Exhale it out and relax. Let's take a bridge pose to stretch it out for a moment. Release the hip flexors and engage the glutes and hamstrings. Take a nice deep breath and exhale it out. From here, lower down and come up to your side. You're going to extend your bottom arm out and your legs a little bit out in front of you. Start with one leg crunching up and coming down. So if one leg is too much, or too little, excuse me, if it's too much, just do the crunch. But if you want a little bit more, do both legs, up and down. What's really tempting is to use this bottom arm a little too much. Try to let it support you without letting it become the main part of the exercise. Good, let's just try nine and eight more. If you liked the single leg version better, you can stay there. Just five, either way. Four, three, two, last one. Awesome, take the legs up and hold. Scissor kick, just like you did in your back. Pull the belly in nice and strong. Breathe, think positive thoughts. Good, and relax. Slide this bottom arm underneath you and lift up into a side plank. Good, holding here, squeezing the core, squeezing the glutes. Take your hand behind your head. Top elbow touches the bottom and comes up. Good, just 10 of these here. Awesome, five more. Try to keep the body in a nice straight line. Good, two more. Last one, hold it up, top arm up, lower down and swing over to the other side. So same three exercises, you're gonna extend the bottom arm out in front of you, top hand comes behind you, start with the top leg. So top leg comes up and down. Sometimes I like just doing the single leg, so you can kind of play around to see what option feels better for you today. If you did both legs on the other side, you might want to try it on the second side. You're almost there, let's do 10 more. So 10, trying to keep the thighs squeezed together. Almost there, keep breathing. Again, single leg option is always there if you want it. Good, try two more. And last one. Both the legs together, lift the shoulders, lift the thighs, and scissor kick. Good, try to get your legs a little bit higher if you can. Keep breathing, thinking positive, and relax. Take the bottom elbow underneath the shoulder and come into the side plank. So nice and strong, squeezing the glutes, top hand comes behind the head. From here, top elbow touches down and reaches up. Good, just 10. Awesome, almost there. How about four more? Good, two more. Last one. One final exercise to call it before your beach vacation day. So knees in front, hands behind, Lean back, reach the arms. So similar to the first two exercises. But this time all you're gonna do is pick the legs up. Good, and I want you to take your arms behind your head. V for victorious. I fit in my workout before I went to play on the beach. I feel energized, healthy, amazing, and ready to rock. Take a nice deep breath. And exhale, relax. So that was your beach ready abs workout. For more health and fitness, find me online at carolinejordanfitness.com.
And if you like this video, share it with all of your friends. Can't wait to work out with you again soon. Bye!